We're here in sunny Tunbridge today at the Next Gen Conference. Uh, we have Greg Clark here, who's both the local uh, MP for Tunbridge Wells uh, and also the Minister for Decentralisation. And we've got Peter Rowlington, uh, who's uh, the uh, Deputy Chairman on Goudhurst Parish Council. So, Greg, uh, you've uh, just been in the conference. Um, what did you think? Well, first of all, fantastic news that Goudhurst Parish Council has uh, won some, some funding from Kent County Council to, to do what I know there's been a huge demand for, which is to improve uh, broadband uh, access there. So congratulations all round, and I think the, the Golden Thread uh, right. campaign has, uh, has paid off. Uh, uh, <laughs> now I've got to get digging. <laughs> uh, absolutely. But I think what today has shown is just what support and enthusiasm and leadership, frankly, there is from Kent County Council to really see that the future prosperity of the county, as well as the, the opportunities to include everyone in the county, depends on having better broadband access. Um, and the message was very loud and clear to uh, Broadband UK uh, and to the, to the government that actually we need this better connectedness uh, as soon as possible. Well, it was great that you could come, and I think the comment was made uh, by, by Malcolm Corbett that it's very unusual to have ministers other than broadband ministers at these conferences, so that was very welcome. Well, I was keen to, to come along, and, and uh, as you know, my ministerial portfolio is decentralisation, uh, and in order for communities to make best use of their powers to do things differently, they need to be able to talk to each other, uh, they need to be able to communicate, uh, and one of the, uh, the initiatives I've always been very uh, impressed by is, uh, is Peter's uh, West Kent Watch, um, which is going from strength to strength, which for six years now has gathered information on local crime patterns and made it available to local people so that they could be better informed, they could look out and be vigilant uh, about crime. That predated uh, a lot of the current interest in this and I think is a good example of how communities uh, can take their own initiative uh, using technology and make things much better for them. So uh, I think what's what started in Goudhurst uh, can go right across the country, uh, but actually it's much better, it's more advantaged if more people can access that through high speed broadband. Excellent. Peter, you're, you're the originator of, of West Kent Watch. Um, there are other security uh, things you've done in Goudhurst as well. Could you just tell us a bit about that? Yeah, as it, with my parish council hat on, uh, we've um, uh, had a, had a uh, CCTV project and what I'd like to do is using Superfast Broadband is to actually make that available to a lot of people and have a much better quality uh, and we found that, and the deterrent value of CCTV in a small village is incredible so we'd just like to you know, encourage that but can I just go on further that as far as us as a parish council is concerned we see Superfast Broadband as being the sort of glue that, that's going to hold the whole of the community together not just people who, have, who want to download high definition TV but the whole of the community and it will bring the whole of the community together in, in education health etc so um, we're very very excited about what's going to happen great thank you peter well thank you greg very much great pleasure. Uh, 